Hi guys, I'm going to make a keema. I've soaked the keema. This is a Nutrilla keema. The same way you can make a mutton keema. So this is a keema here, which I have soaked it, uh, the little bit of water, uh, milk. Always soak the keema in the milk so they taste nice. Whichever the keema you are making, just add a little bit of milk. But the uh, this Nutrilla keema has to be soaked. So I had soaked it. It is not you, can, you cannot see any milk there. It has been absorbed. So very little milk like a quarter cup. Less than a quarter cup even. I had soaked it 15-20 minutes ago. I've got a wok on here. And which I'm, I have added a 2 tablespoon of oil. And in that you don't need to put any cumin or any of the uh, tempering. I've got here onion and garlic. I'm going to add that. Just put the onion and garlic and just a little bit of ginger. A teaspoon of ginger paste. So I'm going to fry them first. Turmeric powder, salt according to only the onion, so onion gets cooked fast. This is going to take a 5 minutes approximately to cook this. So let it get softened and then we will add all the spices and keema and peas. I've got a frozen peas. If you are using the fresh peas, just boil them, blanch them, boil them. So get this, they get softened. Here I have got because this is a frozen peas, so they are already soft. So I don't need to blanch or boil. This keema pao, keema uh, peas, keema um, mutton keema or the soybean keema is very very popular dish in Mumbai. We used to go and have a keema pao. Uh, um, they normally don't serve the roti or chapatis with it. They give you keema pao. It is mutton keema and the pao on the sides. It's a, like a bun, square bun which is known as a pao in Mumbai. So they serve that. And uh, if you don't have that, you can have with chapati. There's no problem, but uh, uh, that's the dish they serve there. It is very, very popular there. And when you're hungry, you eat keema pao or you eat um, any type of, you know, egg buji, buji pao. So pao is very, very popular dish in Maharashtra, Mumbai especially. Vada pao, keema pao, egg buji pao. So all these pao veggies dishes are very, very popular there. It's been cooking and already getting softened. Let it get more soft. And then we are going to add a spice. This is ready. Now we are going to add a spice. So I have got here coriander powder. This one. The coriander powder goes here. So two and a half teaspoon of coriander powder. Cumin powder one teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon of armchur powder, which is dry mango powder. One teaspoon of chili powder. And salt according to peas and keema. So all that spices. We'll fry this two minutes. Now the oil is getting separated. Now we will add the keema. Now you can see milk there. A little bit of milk at the bottom. But it's not liquidy liquidy. It's all absorbed. We will fry the keema first. With all the spices.
lower the heat I'll throw the water from the peas because we need to put it soon going to add a little bit of black pepper half a teaspoon kheema is known as a very very nice dish it is sweet and sour and really really very tasty it goes with the pav very nicely or you can have with the chapati or naan it's not compulsory but yeah that's how it is been served in mumbai the same time i'm going to add my peas now here you can add even mushroom some people they add mushroom but because it known as the keema with the peas keema mutter so i'm not adding the mushroom now we'll cover and cook it till all the keema and the peas are cooked which will take another 5 10 minutes this to cook so lower the heat and then let it cook this is cooked now you can see it's moist but cooked and nice The last ingredient here will go is a lemon juice because we haven't added any of the tomato here we add only lemon juice coriander some chopped coriander some I'll keep it for garnishing So this is all ready. And you can have with the pav, you can have with chapati, you can have with anything. Before serving, I like to taste it. Yum. It's really yum. Tasty. Very tasty. Little bit salt is less, but I'm not going to add any more because we are going to eat with the chapati or a pav. They have got a bit of salt. So if anyone likes, it is little bit less, but it is fine. So I'm not adding. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Then I'm going to serve this. Please, guys, like my video, share with friends. If you like them, share with your friends. Subscribe and press the bell icon for the next video. When I post, you'll get the notification. Thanks for watching.